Hi, Scott Erickson, Technical Marketing for Pulse Secure. Today, we're going to take a look at how to enable trust between a PCS or PPS device and a Pulse One appliance that has been set up with self signed certs. When an admin deploys Pulse One from scratch on a virtual appliance, the standard process automatically installs self signed certs. The problem is that when a PCS appliance tries to connect to a Pulse One appliance to bring it into the Pulse One deployment, that PCS or PPS appliance much must trust the SSL connection of the Pulse One appliance. When you have self-signed certs, that trust is not present by default. So after the admin has deployed the Pulse One appliance that has self-signed certs, the admin would want to open up either Internet Explorer or the Edge browser, typically, uh, Chrome, Firefox, Safari can't do this, uh, so we would suggest using Internet Explorer or the Edge. And the admin would want to come and view certificate, and then get the trusted root certs that are defined for that appliance, export to file, export to file. And now they would need to take these to a PCS appliance to enable that trust to occur. Once logged into the PCS appliance, the administrator would need to go to stat system configuration, trusted server CAs, import, browse, and then we need to import these two certificates uh, individually into that trusted server CA. Once those are in there, then the PCS appliance can be connected to the Pulse One appliance. Once the administrator has installed the root CAs, then they can come into Pulse One and add that appliance and bring that appliance into the deployment. As you see, both the registration status and channel status are green, and this means that the communication and registration between the PCS appliance and the Pulse One appliance has succeeded. If the admin did not install the root CAs for the Pulse One appliance, this registration would fail, and the Pulse One, the PCS appliance, would not be able to be brought into that Pulse One deployment. 